My name is Spencer McEwen, and the name of the product is the DRS2 API. So the DRS is it's a digital storage repository, so it stores uh, materials that are digital materials that are created by libraries and museums across Harvard. So it stores digital, digital images, text, audio files, and um, stores them and preserves them and makes them available to certain applications. So the size of the DRS is approximately 50 million files, uh, probably close to 200 terabytes of data at this point. For many years, since the late 90s, we've had this application called the DRS. And within the past four or five years, we've redesigned DRS and created this DRS2 application that completely replaces the old DRS. So what this DRS2 API project um, would allow people to do is to create their own scripts or applications that access their data previously. Uh, information is ingested into the DRS, it's stored, and it's only available through applications that we create in this office. So there's an application for delivering images, there's an application for delivering audio and streaming audio files to a browser. Um, there's an application for flipping through pages of a book called a page delivery service. Uh, the only way for owners of content stored in DRS to really access their data is through one of these applications. So what this DRS2 API project would allow a content owner to do is to write their own script or even write their own application that would give them access to the full metadata and actual file contents of their information that's stored in the digital repository. In DRS1, we have a, a full text search index of text files, but with DRS2, we have the ability of indexing and extracting the full text of PDFs and Word documents, other basic document type formats, as well as text, XML, HTML. The other major change with DRS2 is the basic modeling of the data. So in DRS1, we stored things at a file level granularity. So anything in, anything in DRS1 was a file and a file had a certain amount of metadata associated with it. In DRS2, things are modeled as objects. So an object is just a aggregate container of many numbers of files. So it's a way of aggregating and collecting information together, makes it more easy, easily maintainable and searchable and edit, editable in, the, in our administrative interface. Part of my hope in creating this API was for other library lab projects, other people who have cool ideas to be able to um, think of new ways to use this data. I think one of the challenges is communicating this is all the data that's actually here and available that could be used, things like GPS coordinates and image characteristics. Um, it's pretty, pretty open-ended, I think, as far as the types of things that people could build. 